No, I, I wouldn't say that. I think we It is fine. I'm coming over with Cameron Ray. I don't think it's myself. I'm a millennial. Joel, that's because you're not. I could pass. Oh, that's interesting. I was just reading about that. They call us... They call us Xennials, people born between 1977 and 1983. Oh, that's between the first three Star Wars. I thought that was just the case a long time ago. Well, I'm the one who can see the other clubs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where would you say? I just don't know about this situation anymore. I've got a lot of thinking to do. Ben? Hey. How are you doing? It's. I'm in there right now, talking up a storm. It's going great. Everyone's laughing. Ben. You're doing fine. You have your list? Oh, yeah. Um, Dr. Drone wants me to wade in based on the topical currents. Just give me a minute. Don't overthink it, babe. <laughs> and that's what separates Xennials <laughs> and Millennials. What do you think? Ben, are we all Millennials? It, um, I mean, it's, it, uh, uh yeah. yeah, maybe. I think the question is, has anyone here destroyed a retail chain? No, in fact, I think I'm the sole reason why Nordstrom is still in business. <laughs> oh, Ben, you were just telling me that funny story about, um, what's that big bookstore in Portland called? Oh, Barnes & Noble. Uh, Powell's Books. Uh, they do have a Barnes & Noble, probably. And how you felt you had to buy something to support the store? Yes. Uh, uh though I'd rather talk about Star Wars. <laughs> Um, if you've never been, it's this huge uh, mecca of a bookstore, and then you think, how can they possibly stay open? It, it's this sprawling library of the arcane where you turn a corner and you're in a pocket universe. Um, but I, I was there with my brothers. We do an annual trip together, and one of them had a birthday, and I think I was three years in. Uh, so I, I was talking to an associate, like, what's a good book to give to a brother? And, and she said, well, what? Um, what's that mean? Um, you know, what's he like to read? And I said, we've never talked about it. Um, so anyway, I, I got him something I liked. It's a, a sci-fi novel based on some popular medieval texts. Um, it's a decadic, it's a, a text. And he read some, and he told me he couldn't finish it. but. Uh, Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought anything. So, in that respect, I might be a millennial. That sounds hilarious. I haven't read a book in 10 years. How did I not know that about you? There are many things you don't know about me. <laughs> oh, I needed this. Thank you, Ben, Annie, for gathering us all together. It's like our own fake extended family. Why don't we do this more often? Well, I can think of two reasons who I'm quite positive are still awake. <laughs> we really should, though. It's hard. Says who? I agree. You too? I mean, I want to get together, but it's difficult to do. Let me give a little toast to that effect. To this communion. And your hospitality. To one night off. And on our way to Riesling number three. To sing out with friends long past the fading light. Let's get together and raise your glass tonight. When the kids are away and the sitters to be paid. Pass the food or the wine. For four hours it's divine. We should. One evening ends We've plans for three More time away To feel alright And still get home Before It gets late We should do this again Every night Take a little time To get together as friends You know and I know This party
this party will end So let's all do this again <laughs> Dr. Joan, uh... Is everything all right, Ben? Uh, uh, Has something happened at the party tonight? Everybody was, uh, singing, uh, with, with music, um, everyone knew the words and moves, and, and I didn't, if that makes sense. It does. It's a fascinating way of putting it. Did you try joining in? Were you worried about saying something wrong? Hitting the wrong note, so to speak? Well, yes, but it, it, it is... Has anyone said anything out of line or embarrassing tonight? Uh, besides me? Um, well, there's a long conversation about circumcision, which was awkward. Um, Meg doesn't know what a fig is. Ben, the conversation went on anyway, yes? Meg was confident, she misspoke, and largely no one cared. They were singing on the table. So make a mistake. Make mistakes all night long. Who cares? This is the hurdle to get over, Ben. You can be afraid of what might happen, or you can sing along, as you might put it. It's flat, to but then a round I shape. mean, it's not actually... Gentle. No, it's round. But then they say, if you look out to the horizon... You okay? I'll take care of that. You can still see the space needle, which, if it was curved, just makes you think, right? That's not a good line of thinking, Meg. But I don't care, and you don't care, because we're all friends here, and we talk about all sorts of controversial subjects. Politics, or the solar eclipse, or the news of the day. Hey, hey, hey. Everything is up for discussion, because we're all friends. Let's do this again. Good job.